Hey folks, everything new under the sun, longislandcwclub.org. That's the URL of this particular page that I'm on. Uh, CW Continuous Wave, uh, a.k.a. Morse code. Why do I bring this up? Uh, so from uh, the prepper uh, point of view, from emergency preparedness, um, from just uh, enable, uh, ensuring that your uh, family is uh, safe and has options, um, this is a good way to do it. Um, CW, uh, Morse code, uh, if you learn it, you're going to be able to listen to more information on the airway. So some of it is in just regular voice uh, phone uh, where you can listen to someone talk if they're talking English or whatever language you understand. But there are parts of the band uh, in the ham radio uh, uh, bands that where CW exists. And uh, this CW will be, uh, you know, a number of uh, dots and dashes, uh, dits and dots. And you won't be able to understand it, so you're you're gonna you're gonna go by that. And um, people who can't understand it will may will maybe get uh, some more information about what may be happening um, if things go sideways anywhere near where you are or otherwise. Now, the other thing about CW and why I suggest that you you learn it, even if you're not an amateur radio operator, uh, is from an intelligence point of view. Um, CW. Uh, will go around the world a lot farther than voice will. You can hear it, you can understand it, uh, and decode it um, a lot farther than voice will travel, especially depending on what your antenna you have to receive uh, information with. So you're going to be able to gain intelligence from much farther away with a smaller antenna if you can decode CW. It doesn't necessarily mean you're, you need to be able to transmit in CW. Um, that is a key piece. Uh, and a very important, but you can accept, uh, you can um, uh, pull in more intelligence, I guess, if you do that. Um, I'm going to talk about my experience with Long Island CW Club. I've been there about four weeks now, and so far, so good. But a couple other um, uh, pros about this. Um, CW, or Morse code, is automatically more obscure than just standard voice or uh, phone conversations. That means, um, you know, it's not encrypted. Uh, it's illegal to encrypt things on amateur radio bands. Um, but you're going to be able to uh, pull in more intelligence than most people will. Not very many people know Morse code. Intelligence agencies do. Um, but if anybody's trying to obscure information, um, you know, that's an easy way to do it. Just because the number of people, a uh, number of people simply don't know it. So you, you could have lots of people on scanners listening to ham radio for intelligence. Um, but uh, there could be more obscure conversations going on, again, with Morse code, uh, which you uh, wouldn't uh, be able to do anything with if you didn't know Morse code. So uh, that extra level of um, intelligence gathering. Um, not only that, but you can send more encrypted, uh, not encrypted, but just more obscure information um, uh, where, you know, the person on the other end need to, needs to know it. And they're usually going to be an amateur radio operator or some intelligence uh, operations person. Uh, but if you're simply trying to get around your neighbors or, um, you know, folks in your current city, there's probably not many people listening on amateur radio bands. And there's even fewer people who uh, are listening on amateur radio bands and also understand Morse code enough to figure out what you're saying. Uh, so it's a really good way uh, locally um, to get past a lot of listening ears. Um, as I as said in the past, you need to have lots of radios because um, gathering information listening is going to be a key piece of it. But if you can't understand it, um, then that's not going to be helpful. So same goes with learning uh, any language. Uh, the more languages you know, the more intelligence you can uh, potentially collect. Now, it's also good for kids to know CW or Morse code. Um, this has uh, been useful in, uh, say, kidnappings, um, prisoners of war, uh, where they have relayed messages uh, using Morse code. Uh, there was one uh, you know, well-known uh, video of a POW who was blinking Morse code, uh, who who was a hostage who was blinking Morse code uh, to um, you know the, the Americans whomever who were watching this video of him uh, taken by his captors, and this could be a very, very real situation in Israel right now, and you can relay information about what's happening, you know what your name is, where you're from, um, location information. Your, and your captors probably have no idea that you know Morse code, and if you're blinking with your eyes Morse code, um, 
there's going to be intelligence services who are, are trained to spot that sort of thing, or maybe a tapping with a finger in the corner of the video, um, and you know, you know, captors, uh, the bad guys, uh, they are not likely to have any clue what's happening. So that will uh, get through that video or audio, um, you know, without without notice uh, in in large part. Probably, probably works best on video for that. The other thing is if you're trapped or something, um, you know, buried in a live uh, in a cave. People have used that to tap on rock um, to get messages out. You keep tapping, uh, you know, a police officer or something hears that uh, rhythmic tapping and uh, realizes, oh, that's Morse code. And you can pass messages long distances, uh, you know, where you can't use your voice or um, some other issue has occurred. Uh, for example, if you're trapped in a building that has, uh, you know, fallen down. Um, so a great use. And again, it's a very safe thing for, uh, for kids to have, um, a great tool because they can always communicate to th with that and uh, and experienced uh, you know police and uh, rescuers uh, will understand and uh, respond to that where others might not uh, and as I, as I said before often you know whomever um, you're trying to evade it, most people don't know CW Morse code so you know they're not going to understand what you're saying all that said um, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, this is the course I'm currently taking, Long Island CW Club. Um, yeah, they have what's, what's called a carousel, so you hop on, hop out uh, when you want. They have several classes a week. I'm not getting sponsored by them, um, but I think it's a great course and a great uh, sort of extra uh, language, quote-unquote, to, to uh, learn uh, and could be useful in times of uh, communication down sorts of events. Again, you can communicate a lot farther with dits and dahs than you can with voice. Uh, it's more clear. You can make it out. You can get a message through a lot easier. Now, I this the beginner's class takes about six weeks. They do three letters each week. Um, and then you get to the beginner's two class, and they learn, uh, I, th I think, a few of the last letters in the, diction in the alphabet. And then they go on to numbers and, and symbols and such. Um, but, you know, over the span of a couple of months, uh, at a leisurely rate, you can learn a lot faster if you want, but at a leisurely rate, you can learn uh, CW, a.k.a. Morse code, and, um, and have that in your back pocket. Um, so for grid down times, um, trouble, times when there's trouble with communications, uh, which is very likely with the state of the world, folks, the first thing before they go to World War III is they're going to take out communications. Um, CW could be very, very handy in, in many different use cases. So I will, uh, I will promote uh, Long Island CW Club. There's lots of ways to do it. You can go online, watch YouTube videos as well. Lots of ways to do it. Um, but this is a, a very good organization. I've been there four weeks now, uh, and I highly recommend them. So if you're thinking about uh, learning Morse code, um, it is not a dead language at all. I definitely recommend you learn it, not just for amateur radio, uh, but for safety, for having the ability to communicate um, in alternate circumstances where uh, maybe using your voice, you know, is not possible, uh, not doable, or dangerous, um, uh, whereas a tapping or dits and daws uh, might be uh, might be the only way you can get any sort of uh, information out uh, to people. And again, um, a large part of it is that it's going to be somewhat obscure. People are going to hear tapping; they might recognize it as Morse code, but they won't have any clue what it means. Um, so again, it's a nice obscure. Uh, um, uh, language uh, to make use of uh, if you want to um, obscure your communications with you know the neighbor whomever it may be because again most people don't know it and won't know it and when communications are down they're not going to be able to go to YouTube and find it out so now is the time to learn it and understand it and have some basic knowledge in, in, in terms of how to decode uh, CW and Morse code so I'll leave there guys a little quick video thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video